I was having a discussion in texts to my latest video about JJ Talks with Carl Carlson. And he was asking, do I think it's right about having some sort of double standard between people being able to describe that they're sexually attracted to guys and that they're sexually attracted to women. He was saying, well, it, it, it seems like you have a gay bias going on. And, you know, I responded by saying, well, society is the way that it is. I can't just snap my fingers and change society. I can wish all I want that things would be different. I can wish that we didn't have double standards in the way that we can sexualize women versus sexualize men. But that's not going to change society. Society is sexist in those areas. You're bad if you sexualize women, but you're okay if you sexualize men. A man or a woman can come up to a guy and tell them that he or she finds them attractive. And it's generally not going to be an issue. If the guy is homophobic, the really bad stereotype of a redneck, and a guy tells them this, he might respond negatively. Are we going to compare women to a stereotypical redneck guy who's homophobic? Those are generally the only types of guys who are actually uncomfortable with that sort of thing. Generally, guys will take it as a compliment. In a video that I had made right after my first video to JJ Talks, I had talked about how so many feminists shove forth this idea that if a guy shows that he is attracted to a woman, it is almost always to try to exhibit that he has power over that woman, and not just simply that he's sexually interested in her. And then there'll be the, the element of, well, you know, that's part of toxic masculinity for, for, for guys to think about sex so much. And I'm like, that sounds quite religious, doesn't it? Are you going to parrot the dogma from Christianity? From the Bible? From the Quran? Are you going to parrot those things? And then claim that you're righteous to parrot those, that kind of dogma? I take issue with that. I do. And people will say, well, we're not demonizing sexuality. Actually, yes, you are. That is exactly what you're doing. We're trying to stop the patriarchy. Men's sexuality is not the patriarchy. We're trying to stop women from being abused. Demonizing sexuality is not stopping women from being abused. We're trying to stop women from being assaulted. Demonizing sexuality doesn't stop women from being assaulted. 
Now, if there are guys that, you know, will hit on a woman, and she is, shows that she's not interested, and the guy gets angry over that, yeah, that's crap. That's bullshit. That's horrible. And that should not be tolerated in our society. And most people look at that as horrible and pathetic. That kind of behavior is terrible. Where, uh, anywhere on even YouTube, do you see it shoved forth, except from some, oh, some of the, I mean, there, there are some rare exceptions to this. But besides these guys that are just total jerkwad, asshole, fucktards, do you see this general consensus that it's okay for a guy to get angry at someone because when he hit on them, they said they're not interested. Where do you see that? You don't. You don't see that. The only people you see that from are the, are the guys that actually hate women. Are the guys that actually are mis, uh, misogynistic. That is true misogyny. Those are the guys that hate women. But to claim that the guys that just hit on women, and they're trying to be honest about it, about what their intentions are, that's not misogyny. Well, they don't care about women's feelings. Should we worry about triggers for anyone that might have PTSD about any subject, about any issue? How worried should we be about whether we're going to offend someone? How far should that go? How far should we take that? Should we live in paranoia that we are going to offend someone? If you think yes, fuck you. Go fuck yourself with a dildo made of a cheese grater. If you think people should live in fear like that, fuck off. Well, well, those people want women to live in fear. No, you want women to live in fear. You're promoting women living in fear. You're promoting women not getting past that kind of thing. You want women to be scared of men. And in turn, when you push that sort of thing, you want men to kind of be scared of women. That's fucked off. That's totally fucked up. Don't be pushing this bullshit, this dogma, that parrots that of Abrahamic religions. Don't be peddling that dogma shit on people. And then claim it's for social justice. Religious dogma is not social justice. Well, it's not religious dogma. It's thinking about the way that your, your actions affect people. <laughs> if you're actually doing something to hurt somebody, that's one thing. And the people that actually hate women, their actions, yeah, they're, going, they're often going to hurt people. But to claim that every guy who hits on a woman, or any guy that says, you're hot, any guy that's, that tells a woman, I, I love the way that you look, is hurting women? It's messed up. It is the demonization of sexuality. Again, if, if someone sexualizes you, 
that by itself shouldn't be an issue. If you tell them you're not interested and they get all bent out of shape, they get all butt hurt just because you're not interested, that's an issue. As I said earlier, that's an issue. That's messed up. That's totally fucked up. And that's what we should be addressing. I mean, this is... This is like an elementary school where a couple kids were bullying other kids when playing a particular game on the playground. So instead of trying to go after the kids that are bullying when playing that game, let's just, let's just outlaw that game. That's what this is doing. That's what this kind of bullshit does. And you act like it's the actual answer, and it's not. And I'm not going to even call it a radical feminist thing, an extreme feminist thing. This is a feminist thing. You find this theory on most of the feminist websites that try to explain this sort of thing. You find it there. And it's all about women being victims. Demonize the fucked up people. Don't demonize all men for having sexual attractions. Don't make it sound like the idea of wanting sex a lot is part of a toxic masculinity. Don't you dare push that shit. Don't you dare. There is nothing inherently wrong with someone wanting a lot of sex. Do you know what that's actually doing? That is slut-shaming men. That's right. That is slut-shaming men without using the word slut. To those of you doing that, congratulations. Congratulations. You're being exactly what you fight against. 